Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's all about Party Manifesto. And it's all about the 2023 general election. And of course, I have with me in the studio a youth mobilizer, a politician, a political analyst, and a cultural is Jimmy to welcome Samuel Ehegato, aka Aras. Welcome to TMI on this edition. We say good morning. Right. And good morning, viewers. And I still have put food on the table here in the studio. <laughs> put food on the table, you know, you have all these things. And uh, uh, Derek Uhumogo, thank you so, so much, gentlemen, for standing by. Thank you. I want to start off with you, Aras. Party manifestos. You get to hear party A, party B, party C saying almost the same thing. I mean, uh, right now, Nigerians are like confused. Way, way back, each political parties, they are known or identified by their manifesto. But right now, I'm saying there's no clear cut. When you talk about party manifestos, within party or between parties right now in Nigeria. What do you have to say about this? Thank you very much, Wilson. The problem we have in Nigeria is that we don't have the same system like the Europeans or like the US where you have the Democrat, the Republicans, the Socialists, the Communist parties, etc., etc. Where you have such situations, the party manifesto goes to the principle of the party. The interest of the party is based on their policies that are made down by the party. If you are a socialist, if you are a communist, you know the ways of the, uh, the, the socialist. You know what communist means, you know what democrats means, you know what republicans means. That is a different situation. But like in Nigeria, here you see that uh, a PDP member moves today to APC, APC moves to PDP, or PDP moves to Labour, you see that there is no real clear cut of party uh, manifest. There's no real clear cut. Because it is what these people are saying is what these people are saying. The only difference is that everybody is looking for where his interest to be carried along. Then now, let's look at the, the three major party manifesto. If you look at what uh, Peter Obi said is going to do, they are the same things we have been hearing. If you look at what Article said he's going to do, they are the same things we have been hearing. If you look at Tinubu, what he said he's going to do, they are the same things we have been hearing. But what I want the Nigerians to do is to make a clear difference about who is presented the manifest. It matters a lot. Because if, for example, uh, the former Vice President Article is telling us now in his manifest that he's going to fix power, he's going to do this and this, privatize the, co the country's economy, and blah, 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 blah. Sorry, Wilson. When he was in government, we all remember very, very well he was the one in charge of privatization and economical things during a job. What happened to the steel factory that was privatized in Aquaibo? What happened to the one in Delta State? What happened to the one in Kogi State? What happened to those in, a, in, in, a, in Edo State? But he will tell you that Mr. he wasn't the one Wilson. in charge. He Mr. was the Wilson. vice president. He, he was in charge of the privatization. And, and, and now he said he's going to make sir, a point. Sir, that sir, is let us not deceive ourselves. Mm. We know the truth. And we should tell Nigerians the truth. Mm. Say property that was installed by the Nigerian government for $3.5 billion. This sold for the same man for $130 million. My brother, let us be telling you the truth. The data still was done with over $1.5 billion. So for about $100 million. The one in Kogi State, same thing, billions of dollars were invested in these properties. And you sold them for cheap article to your cronies? And then you are coming back after years now to tell us you want to privatize Nigerian right. industry? All right, now, Please. since we should follow the have proof of this, Listen, sir, because we have he proofs. was not the number one man. We have man. proofs, sir. He we was have the proofs. number one man. We have proof. Who was in charge of the economic thing? Aras, Who I was will... in charge of privatization? Aras, it is just one person I'm telling you I now. I will come back to Wilson, you, Aras. let's listen to ourselves. I know. Just hold Don't on. Don't cut me off. Just hold on. Don't cut me off. Right Let me tell you one after the other. Aras, calm down. To Calm follow down. the antecedent. Calm down. I will come back to you. Calm the down. The antecedent matters to choose I know. which manifesto you want to follow. Thank you. They will go to Obi. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you start analyzing everyone, <laughs> there's a reason I want to force you. You understand? The direct contenders, they are not here. 
and we have to follow ethics and ethos of journalism. Yes. You are saying he did this, he didn't do that, he's not here to defend himself. So for that reason, we have to pull that in the cooler. Can I clear All that right? now? Hold on. What was Hold his on. statement in the Hold last on. interview three few days ago that was Hold even on. showed in your program? He, when they interviewed him and asked him what happened in that with the 16 billion naira for electricity, what did he say? We'll come back he to said that. It, they are unfortunate they were not able to yes. achieve it. We'll come back to that. Oh, unfortunate. Hey, just calm down. <laughs> Aras, calm down. For there's 16 reason, billion? There's a reason for that. Just calm down. It's not about individuals, it's about party manifestos. Yes. It's all the same. It's not He's about the, head the, of the campaign. Party. Now, you can take a look at this individual. They're saying almost the same thing. He picked up one candidate, how to like, you know, make him to like, you know, calm down for a right for some good reasons. Is it going to be party manifestos right now or individual manifestos? What do you think we should focus on, Obaraye? Thank you so much, my brother Wilson. I think uh, it's a very, I count it as a privilege to be on the second phase of this uh, program, even when it was not uh, due. I thank you so much for that privilege. But the truth must be told, well, if Nigeria was a society where education was spelled out that uh, it was, it, as in virtually everybody educated, I think party manifestos would have been something witty, something you can call upon to say, uh, Mr. Wilson, you told us you were going to do point something A, point B, point C, you didn't do it, look at your paper. Thank you. And we can, See for it. But I think because if you if you give if I give Wissing or Masha a paper now to say help me hold this book, if you, you can read if you want, I'll come back and collect it. I'm very sure, Wissing, that where you place that book upon is going to be where you give it to me back in five years' time if I come to tell you. You will not have time to flip. Mm -hmm. But I cannot try that to uh, Derek Wang because I know he's a uh, uh, he was a vocational reader. Uh, <laughs> he reads virtually anything he wants to read. Yeah. So, but I think, <laughs> but I think, I think what what the yeah. people now, what the people now, is after from their body language, from what we are saying, yes. is not manifesto any longer. It's individual. Yeah. That's why you see people tell. Uh, that's why you see the likes of Obina in any little. T uh, Few days ago, he was in a canoe, and uh, <laughs> another person in canoe was also snapping him. That's why you saw that uh, Ahmed, Ahmed Bola Tinubu went to Kano and uh, gave them 100 million for for people that was affected with flood, for getting his own Lagos state, for uh, my brother would be forgetting that uh, he was governor for eight years. And why you also see that uh, the likes of Atiku. So you can see they are trying to do their best to make sure that let me, let me be the one people will now see. Because whatever they write, me, whatever they write, I think uh, it's about 10 points I did and I not vote. Yeah. I'm not sure, I've, me, me, I will not say, I'm not sure I've read it. Maybe I will take time to do that to read. Mm -hmm. Why I will not also take my time is that the, the, the entire structure itself will never allow, the Nigerian structure itself, we never allow you, we see your to do whatever you want to do. You can also see now that uh, there's already a bottleneck here for us to speak the way we want to speak. So that we will not want to live here and the next thing we see your is called upon to say, what did you allow them to say? So if in this minute environment we are already watching how we say, what we say, so in the larger system it's also the same thing. So. We must be factual with the truth. Yeah. Party manifesto, a welcome development, something that is supposed to be Corrida Magi, even giving to children in secondary school from the SS1 university, share it to them for them to read. Uh, I saw one, the catchy one that we were discussing on our platform of Tinubu that he said you can borrow from the TED fund and pay your school fees from there. When you start working, you 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 pay what you borrowed back. I get it now. Uh -huh. But a, a, if, as a student, you are able to borrow money, what's the probability that it will be work for you to pay back, pay back your loan? So there are some things. There are some things we must put in tandem. But we cannot also shy away from the two. We should expect more juicy talks from these gladiators. I get it now. Also, also expect more more. Uh, 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 move from there. The reason is because 
whatever politically, whatever you can use in trying to catch one or two people, you can do it on time. What I also want Nigerians not to shy away or run away from is that it's high time we start also looking at the antecedent of an individual. Yes. In the, in, in, in the first lap of this discussion, you heard me discussing about my brother here, Derek. I saw him in his own little way, way as a counselor during the COVID, going from school to school, giving them what to wash out with one, the machine. I'm sure I didn't know why they made that. It, it's a one-way thing that you wash and you, you get ventilated. That if a counselor was able to do that in, in his own small face, it goes to show that if that guy also tomorrow is giving something bigger from what he is not going to complain because antecedent matters a lot. This is not time where we now start looking for. If he did that in a do state and we didn't see others doing it, others should keep quiet. Nobody, Wiki is not in my party, but nobody can dissuade me or persuade me to hate the man Wiki. And that's why I want to congratulate Wiki for the award given to him by President uh, Buhari not quite long ago. For the good work this man has done, we see politically it's not, it's very, it's not easy to fight a political battle. Even within your state, to fight it is as hard as something else. Not to talk of fighting the entire political structure in the nation. A man doing that, if the man has not worked well, the man will assist be forgotten. As we speak for the very just now, the man saw it to say, I have done infrastructure. I have did my best here. I think my best is good enough here. Let's go to stomach infrastructure. With the appointment of about 50,000 people, then I think he has increased it. My brother, are you telling me now that a man that has a, a new, new, new workforce of over 50,000 persons in the state payroll, not complaining now, to him now to fight, that type of man is not what you joke with oh, in right. the nearby election. So right. our people should start looking at individual. Okay. Forget about the party. Okay. Because if you say because this man that does this good thing, ah, you need to say that my party is day night for if they good. No. Not because of a, 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 a failure in your party, vote a failure and leave a genius, a genius in another better okay. party, uh, in another no no party. So let's just start going for individuality. I'll come back to you, Barry. He said it's like individual manifesto may just override party manifesto come 2023 election. How true is this assertion? No, he said that this event yes. is um, we overshadow mm. manifesto. manifesto. And according to the Oxford uh, Dictionary, mm. he states that a manifesto is a, pub, a, a, a policy or him especially one issued before an election by a political party or a candidate. In the past, we have seen candidates and political party releasing very beautiful manifestos. So I can understand the sentiment where people no longer, no, no longer care about manifesto. And I'm one of the people that did not even bother to study any of these candidates' manifesto, honestly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people in our political space no longer care about the manifesto of these individuals. You will recall, I will not mention it, that uh, a contender for the post of president in this our country had said he will make a naira to a dollar, one naira equal to one dollar. The, also promised in their manifesto that they will give on unemployment benefits to jobless Nigerians and that they will create three million jobs, I think annually or so, and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, they promise security, they promise all sorts of welfare packages. At the end of the day, almost nothing, it's not that nothing was done, almost nothing was done you know, in this regard, in relation to all the promises, all the manifestos that they put forward. So, yes, issue of manifesto, I think no, almost nobody will take it seriously anymore. It is antecedents, it is individuals that 
people will most, most, most likely focus on this time around. This is, this is why we as individuals need to always think about the people that put us into position of government, into power. Right. When we are we are putting for our policies, our economic and social policies here and there, which we always have at the back of our mind. No, if those people that elected us, if they will be pleased with what we are doing, right. so that posterity will be a, a positive judge okay. of our actions. The next question now to Samuel is this. If we are going to focus in on people's <laughs> manifesto, or, or manifesto, so to speak, going to be a manifesto, does it mean that the party is beginning to lose their taste? You answer that question, we'll return from this break. Don't go away. We'll definitely be right back. TMI. Every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying in this early about 23 election. We're taking a look at the prospect of party politics or individual politics. And I have Samuel uh, Ayigata with me in the studio. Oh, Korosa Baraye and Derek Ohomago. Well, uh, Samuel, you're going to have the next question, but please watch your emotions. I know that you're politically inclined, but please let's calm down, okay? Knowing fully that people are going for individuals, does it now mean that the party manifesto is beginning to lose its taste? Listen, hmm. As I was saying, yeah. I would not like to break the NBC law. I will apologize for that. But we need to understand the politics of Nigeria. That was what I was trying to explain. In the sense that if you look at the three major candidates, they all have the same manifest. Maybe one is five a point, the other one is ten point, and the other one is about the same ten points. The people are not even interested to read it. Because you wrote there, I'm going to give you education, I'm going to give you employment, I'm going to do roles, I'm going to give you light. These are things that have been promised and promised all these years. Despite we have seen some progressive moves in the infrastructure during this present administration, like the railway, major highways, Niger Bridge, agricultural revolutions. These are things that people should ask now. Among all these candidates, who is capable to really reciprocate what is in the manifest as a person? How do you determine that? Who can really reciprocate it? Who can really give us what is written in the party manifest? First and foremost, you go to the antecedent. You can't run away from it. We have as a moment if two former governors in the race. We have a former vice president in the race. What has the former vice president done when he was in power? Was he progressive? Was he beneficial to Nigerians? That he can promise us again now that when, I'm, when I get to the power, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going, that people can believe in him. We now ask the two other governors, the one from the east, Ask them, you know, what have you done in your state when you were a governor for eight years? What development stride did you give to us? What economical development did you bring to the state that you are not telling us that you want to develop Nigeria? We all know the antecedent of the one from the East. People are complaining in the East. Even the Anambra people are complaining. That is something that people should start asking themselves. Why are people complaining from the same zones with them? If they have really done very well. Then the other one from Lagos, the former uh, uh, Lagos State governor, for example. We also know his antecedent when he was his inst as a governor. The, 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 the revolutionary part he played, the development stripes, everything he does, did he do it to the benefit of the Lagosians or to the Nigerian in general? How was he able to really stand and rule and lead the people of Lagos State. We have to look at their both theory perspectives. Their attitude is very important. Nigeria should forget what is written on the paper. Nigeria should forget the promises that have been made. Because in the rallies, promises have been made. But the reality, if I tell you, listen, that since 2011, uh, 2001, it was that the the issue with ASU started. Do you know that 
supreme governments that have come to power has promised to solve that issue on different rallies. Has promised to solve that one on their different manifests. But where are we after almost 21 years? We see. Our association strike. A lot of millions, billions. We have budgeted severally for educational where they actually utilized. I don't want to use some words because you also block me again. <laughs> there are some reasons why sometimes this our educational situation is in, 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 is in problem. Because the people we put there, majority of their children are not even in Nigeria schooling. So whether they're sitting at home or not, has nothing to pay for them. There's no pain attached. Right. There's no seriousness. Yeah. So let us leave manifest. Let, because I've read the theory of them. Like my brother said, I, I like doing that because it is for me to know, is there any difference from the past? And there's something new coming up for us as Nigerians? That's why I read them. Right. And I saw some new things coming up for us, for Nigeria, in some of the past, uh, the manifest. But do those candidates have the capacity have the sincerity, have the political will to actualize those manifests? It matters a lot, we say. What, where is the situation of Anabra State today? Where is the situation of uh, Lagos State today? Where is the situation of Adamawa State today? People should ask the question. All right. If they are more positive, whichever one that is more positive in their development strike, in their capacity, then the people should vote for them. All right, thank you so much, Arza. Does it mean that the uh, independent candidates will now take sway in Nigeria? Because people are going independent candidates. Right now, people are beginning to show on party politics. They're going for individuals. So what's the prospect right now of independent candidacy? Hey, thank you so much, my brother. We say, I think uh, if we must be uh, uh, factor out the truth, I mean, I'm a, a lover of the independent candidate issue. Mm -hmm. The reason is because if you go back to your old videos, sometimes people should also try to play old videos. So you can always now see... Now on YouTube. Yeah, so that uh, yeah. you can see why will you say this and this. Independent candidacy, mm -hmm. if it enters Nigerian politics, then a square peg can fit into a square hole. Because mm -hmm. truth be told, the youth are now ready. The start force because the party itself there is already a lacuna for you to 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 survive the the murky waters of party politics vis-a-vis -vis trying to get a form second first secondly trying to move to see party leaders it's to me my brother if you must if i must tell you the truth for you to secure successfully a party ticket as an assembly member in a party. No, I'm not talking about a liberal party. I'm talking about a party. Uh -huh. <laughs> in, a party, liberal. Yes, a party. I, I don't get that. <laughs> Le 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 all if parties are, in, are parties. Yeah, if you are, if you are in the street, you understand the word liberal. Mm. I get it now. So, if you are in the street. For you to get a party card, uh, uh, to be the, the flag bearer of your party for House of Assembly, mm. for a party, I'm not, you, you, if you use 150, 200 million, you were, God, God saved you. Mm. To guide this, I get it now. As we speak in this December, is in, is the, in this December that is coming now, a candidate of a party already. That is not ready to share close to 500,000 bags of rice. It's not ready for the election. That for is real? Not, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. That is not so ready now. 500,000, I don't want to to talk to you. That's why I'm saying 500,000. <laughs> the candidate that is not so ready to share close to 100,000 cow is not ready for the election. They've also forgotten that this candidate has been the one bleeding since from the party primaries issue. Metabo forcing. They also know already that this candidate, after immediately this Christmas, that is going to use these millions upon millions to get these things for people to eat, is the one again that is going to also start bankrolling. Part 
party does not give you money for election. Don't let, don't let us away from the truth. They don't. They don't. Candidates, they bleed them right from the first day. You mistakenly or jokingly say you want to contest election. That is the day. That is the you day. You start spending. You start spending. So the day you either win or lost. Exactly. God bless you, you win. Good for you. If you also lost, the same people will tell you, let's start court cases again. So that you can, con they can continue milking you. All right. All Those right. same people will start crying to say you right. didn't work. Forgetting that you, 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 you sold most of your properties, properties to make sure you kept going for right. these leaders to be happy. All right. But if you are an independent candidate, and you had all those money to check out to do this to do that. Yo, yo, the money is there for you to meet with the people. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, I, we, we are pressed for time, so Derek, you're going to have the last line on this. What manifesto do you think will come out tops in all of this? And of course, taking a leave also from the independent candidacy to cap it up because our uh, time I is up. I think we have agreed that the uh, issue of manifesto will hold much water yeah. in this. Uh, Election, forthcoming election. election. I will say that I don't know the standard that my brother uh, Jimmy Harris used to evaluate the three different candidates for a uh, major candidate for the uh, three different political parties. But we know how the different states were before each candidate came to became power. governor or vice president, as the case may be. I will say that. What people are actually looking for in a leader currently is a leader that is able to fill the pulse of his people. You know the pulse of the head. A leader who is, um, who is empathic, who is sympathetic with the cause of his or her people. A leader who is seen when there is trouble. This is what people are looking for, not the distant, the detached kind of leadership that we used to have, that will now come a few months to election and start playing for the Christmas role, and start eating with the poor, <laughs> and start whining and dining with the poor, and start carrying on more more who has Qatar in his, uh, in his uh, nose, and start eating corn on the street of the moon, put it on the media space. They are no longer looking for uh, this kind of leaders, but they are looking at Artisidate. Yes. So these are the issues, you know, that people are looking for. Mm. Then the issue of independent candidacy. You know why this will not yet work in Nigeria? Because the kind of people that we are. Mm. If provision is given for people to come out to contest for the position of uh, president in this Nigeria as independent candidate. I can assure you more than a million people will come forward. What's a million? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. So which ballot are you mm. going to use, mm. you know, to prosecute such an uh, election? Mm. But if anybody with good artisanal, somebody with incredible, you know, Records. integrity, yes, yes, come forward for election, he can quickly use any platform as uh, one of the candidates is using now. Okay. Look at Lesotho. Somebody who, see, who think that is good for the position, Form political party within six months, six months before the election, and he won a landslide victory. Yeah. So this is the area people with integrity can use the kind of ladder they can use to thank you to their political. Thank you. I know, and I know you have so much to say about our time. Is so if you can see the time is up, I know you have so much to say. Not to worry, I'll make it up to you next time you come. But please should be guarded. We should offer the rules and regulations which they did. If they want to bear off, we did our best to bring them back in line with regards to the rules and regulations. Well, their comment is yes, it has nothing to do with ITV. Gentlemen, I thank you so, so much for uh, coming to share your minds and opinions on topical issues thank that you. is happening in thank Nigeria. You, thank, you so thank you, thank, thank you, you so, so much. We did next week, Sunday, God willing. Bye for now.